As my work weeks get more unconventional, I'm trying to find new ways of staying productive and becoming more productive because basically I need it because I don't have a nine to five job and I have so many forms of income. If I'm not spreading out my day correctly, I'm not maximizing that income. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three things I am utilizing right now to try and stay productive and become even more productive with my workflow. First up, I've been getting up at 5 a.m. And normally going to work, I'd probably start around 7.30. So there's really no need for me to get up anywhere before 6.30. Hey, I'm just gonna pop in here and um, can you like and subscribe while, while we're being productive? You guys can productively like and su subscribe. Thank you. Unless I actually have a reason to get up, but most times I don't. But what I've been doing is getting up at 5 a.m. and then allotting that time from say 5 to 6.30 to work on projects that aren't necessarily making me money right now, but I think have the potential to monetize down the track. The ones that don't cost money to run, but do take up a fair bit of my time and I can't really justify putting all the time into those projects if I'm not getting that cold hard cash straight up front. So I found by getting up at five o'clock, it gives me an hour to an hour and a half every day. That's another five to seven and a half hours per week for me to invest into a project that will potentially pay dividends later in the year. Now I've also found that this 5 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. time slot just allows me to focus in with no real distractions. No one's hitting up my phone at that time of day. My wife and kid are still asleep and I'm able to just really hone in on what I'm doing. A lot of the times what I'm doing is working on our Etsy store or eBay listing, stuff that isn't necessarily giving us money right now and here to pay our bills each week, but stuff we just try and grow long-term. Now, the next thing I've been doing is scheduling out my day just a little bit different. I don't really have a strict schedule, but what I do have is a bunch of things that need to get done in the day. So normally what I do is I will write down everything I need to get completed in that day. And then from there, I can work out which times I need to be at those certain locations or doing a certain job that will maximize the income. And then I can slot everything else in in between and kind of work out a schedule without working out a schedule that can be very flexible. And that works for me only because I have three or four different incomes or businesses that I'm working on. And they'll be flexible with how my days are actually running. Now, as an example, let's take Uber Eats. Uber Eats, you're gonna get your maximum income that you can earn during the best times of the day, like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So if I know that I am gonna be incorporating Uber Eats or DoorDash deliveries throughout my day, I'm gonna try and maintain that 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. for food delivery, or the 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., something like that. So knowing that, I can build out the other things like going to the post office or popping in at the cabinet assembly business where I may need to assemble three or four cabinets or working on the Etsy store, like I said, at 5.30 a.m. And I can structure that out in a way that is gonna make sure I'm getting the best return for money up front. And then also allowing me to know when's the best time to be working on the other businesses that aren't paying as high dividends right now, but are still in fact earning money. Now I could take this a little further and every Monday, write down a list of goals or tasks that I need to get completed throughout the week. Maybe it's doing some paperwork or paying my guys or no, I'm gonna have to go to the post office this week. Anything like that and make sure I can shift that out into the days. And then from there, when it comes to the days and writing down what task I'd like to complete for the day, I I know exactly what things I need to fit in and it just makes, I don't know, it makes me more productive somehow. Now the last thing isn't necessarily specific to what I'm doing with the bunch of different incomes I have coming in and the different kind of jobs I'm doing and different tasks and all that type of stuff. It's just kind of a general life tip and for me that is just automating my finances. Now by that what I mean is every bill that can automatically come out of my bank account, I will have set up. So I have to do a set up one time and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to check on it every month. I don't need to manually pay for it, retype in the, the credit card details or whatever. It's automatically going to come out. And then when my pay is coming in, that's automatically getting split between paying off my credit card bills or savings and investments. So basically all the money will come into one account and that's automatically divided into my investments and savings account, paying bills and paying off debt. And that way it just really gives me more time to focus on my day-to-day -day things and not really worry about finances so much because I know the money's coming in. It's gonna be more than the money going out. So as long as that money's coming in, and the money's in the bank account and it's getting divided up correctly and paying everything off, then there's not really something I need to concern about or put time into. Now don't get me wrong, every now and again, I am gonna have to check those finances and make sure everything's still working completely fine. Just checking if any bills have gone up or down, anything like that. But 
I mean, day to day, I don't have to look at my bank account and be depressed how broke I am. So that's cool. Now, these are just three things I'm implementing in my life to try and be more productive. If you have anything that you're doing or any good ideas for me to try and get me even more productive because I really, really want to get more productive, let me know in the comments and give me some advice here because, yeah, I'm just trying to be more productive. Yeah, I, and and in saying that, I'll, I'll see you in another video because I'm going to be productive about making another video.